having a lot of trouble with this camera and I don't know why. In one quarter mile, keep left on two floors. Sorry about that. I wanted to take a few minutes um, to send out my thoughts and prayers to the survivors and the families, to the people in um, Las Vegas. It's a very somber day. Yesterday, just a lot going on my going through my mind of of the Pulse incident and how you know I can't believe anything like this would ever happen again. And you know, it's just what goes through somebody's mind to all I can think of is is to act like life is like a video game and you're going through some war game shooting. I think we're just so des desensitized to stuff like that that, you know, a lot of people don't take things like this as serious as they would 30, 40 years ago, you know. It's very sad. I could not imagine going to a concert and having something like that happen. Um, as some of you know, Pulse is very dear to my heart. I lost a dear friend in that incident, and um, it just kind of brings all that back up, you know. I'm going to see my mom today and have lunch with her. I do this just a couple times a month. It's like a two-hour drive, but it's worth it. I get to see my mom, and you know, it's times like this where I really think about, you know, much time you actually have left with people in this world, you know, and you just never know, but, you know, I've been watching YouTube and, and just watching some of the, the posts that have been going out, and, you know, just like with the hurricane, you know, and I'm just so thankful to some of these YouTubers that take time out of their busy schedule, you know, to send a personal message out to people that are going through something very difficult, you know, whether it's the shooting um, in Las Vegas, Pulse, the hurricane, um, you know, murders, suicides. I mean, this world is just full of just very dramatic sadness. That's all I can think of. I don't know, it's just really bothering me today. But, you know, and, and the other thing I, I wanted to talk about is some of these YouTubers that don't post. Let's say they love their sub, subby so much or their fishies or their whatever you want to call them this week. You know, and these people, hello, you get paid for people watching you. If you're a bitch or an asshole and, you know, very narcissistic and just very self-centered and conceited and need I go more, you're going to lose people. There's one in particular that kind of bothered me because that one post about Las Vegas at the time. As a matter of fact, just posted a party in in Las Vegas video, but I think it's a good time to post that. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I saw it new. It may have been a couple of days, days ago. I don't know, but It just, it really, I, I would love to just meet this person in particular and just smack her right in the fucking head. Pardon my language. Pardon my violent, <laughs> violent thoughts right now, but. It's just fucked up. I'm sorry, I keep pausing. I know it's video. But it, it's really screwed up, and it's really just, it, it pisses me off to no freaking end how you can post 
all your party videos and even shit like my my badge stinks like fish my pee's burning you know I dated a fuck boy I'm a troll oh wait she doesn't post that one <laughs> troll and I want to post anything stupid. Well, you know what? Here's a good good uh, thing for views right now. Why don't you post them about shooting? Oh, wait. That involves somebody besides yourself. You know, I think that's why I have a Facebook and, and you know, I got I have a Facebook group that, that got up to kind of a couple thousand people. And you know, I just got to the point where it's like you start looking at what people say and looking at what people do and it's so self-absorbed and self-centered and just you know people are just so self-righteous self 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 do people really care about anything other than themselves sometimes there's a few in this world that do I personally I don't like to even toot my horn. I don't even like to, you know, s say, oh, well, I try to do everything I can for people. Because, you know what? I don't do it for recognition. I don't do it for anything other than it's right and it's... It makes me happy to do for others. It really does, you know? And I uh, just like this lady on the side of the road. I see her all the time. She's apparently got a drug problem. And, you know, and I, every once in a while, I'll stop and I'll talk to her. She's... She's on heroin pretty bad, and, you know, I, I've been down, not with heroin, but I've been through the pill addiction, and it's horrible, and it's, I've never wanted to take my life, ever in my life, until I dealt with that, and it was just getting sick, and, oh my god, when they talk about dope sick, oh my god words can't even describe it and if you've been through it god bless you you know i went through it and i swore i never would again i went blind for five days and i found out why it took took quite a while to get a straight answer from any doctors but i was told because of the vomiting and the diarrhea and, and you know not eating or drinking and getting seriously severely dehydrated that my potassium level dropped to drastically low dangerous they get a hole in the roof over there. Levels. And what happens when your potassium level drops? It Potassium has a lot to do with your muscles. And, and you ever hear somebody say you got leg cramps, eat a banana? It's because potassium. It, it, if you get leg cramps, that's usually a sign that you do have low potassium. But potassium can start shutting down organs. And um, if you've ever read anything about how your body, they say your eyes are the first of your organs to shut down and your ears at the last. That's crazy, isn't it? Kind of, kind of scary thought. You can't see, but you'll hear all the way to the end. But I went blind for approximately, approximately five days that I can remember. Uh, my memory is very sketchy for that. Those days, um, it's it, there's 15 days of my life that's unaccounted for unaccounted for as far as nobody heard from me, nobody talked to me, nobody saw me. Um, my roommate even said I never left my room. Um, uh, I don't think I ever even left my bed for like 15 days. You know, I didn't. I was drinking water. I do know that I was drinking water, sips of water as I could. And I had a gallon of tea, and I'll never forget, what goes down cold comes out cold. <laughs> oh, it was awful. But anyway, um, this lady, I see her all the time, you know, I feel bad for her, but you know, I've told her all the time, you know, different places she can go for treatment and, and whatnot, and I know how hard it is. Well, this one day she's walking, and I mean, she's like barely getting down the street. She just looks like death warmed over. You can see she's sweating and she's just very pale and I stop and she's like, are you okay? And she about collapsed. I was like, you know, and I normally would never in a million years do this, but I, I knew she was dope sick. I 
I gave her 20 bucks. And I said, I know what you're going to go spend it on. Do you need a ride? Or, you know, she said, no, I'll make a phone call and they'll, he'll come get me. And, um, drove off. But you know that that was like, like three weeks ago. I saw her, this was like two or three days, four days ago. I saw her a few days ago and she waved me down and she thanked me and she gave me back my $20. She said, nobody ever did anything even vaguely nice like that for her. She says, you know, yeah, she bought drugs with it, but I knew she was going to do that. Being dope sick sucks, man. It's not something you can just quit. And if you know somebody that, that has an opiate addiction, a pill or heroin, you know, type addiction, they need medical help. They can't just stop. It's not like cigarettes or even cocaine or anything like that. Your body becomes physically addicted to it. And it is not an easy thing to, to get off of. You need to be medically detoxed. It's worse than coming down off of alcohol. And I don't know if you've ever seen anybody come off of alcohol, but they have to be medically, you know, um, detoxed. But it is very, very important. The reason why I got sick was I got tired of taking the pills and I just stopped one day. And I made myself, so, oh my God, I made myself so sick. And I knew that taking more pills would stop it. But I just, I refused. I didn't want to live like that anymore. You know, yeah, I was going to have to deal with the pain. I mean, I've had 19 surgeries. I've been hit by a car walking twice in my life. No, I don't jump in front of cars. Once I was walking down the sidewalk, guy comes flying out of the plaza, didn't even pay attention, jumps the freaking curb, hits me in the meantime. The other one, a lady backed over, over me in a parking lot. I was walking to my car. The lady just backs right on over me. Anyway, you know, I knew I was going to go through hell, but it is what it is. You have to be very determined, but you know... I was one of these people always, yeah, bullshit, bullshit. Just all you gotta do is quit, you know, addiction, that's all in your fucking head, blah, blah, blah. No, it's not. You can think what you want, but opiates, they change your body to where they become physically addicted to them to survive. And the withdrawals from them are horrible, and you need to be under medical Supervision when coming off them. You need to be detoxed properly off the stuff. If you know somebody that has this problem, you can, I don't know where you're located, but in every city, um, you can contact, I believe it's everywhere, 211 on your phone. Uh, I know it works here in Florida, 211, and they will help you find a program. Um, I don't believe in Salvation Army for one thing because of this, their whole history. Salvation Army is called Salvation Army because they used to save souls. Well, I don't know if this is true, but I've heard this a hundred times over that they were, they, and they did, they took all the church out of it. And it was basically part of the government offered them, you know, money from the government. You would be able to get this money if you pulled the church part out of it. So, who knows? Anyway, call 2 and one or you can look online and find a detox center in the city that you're in. Or um, if you need an intervention for this person, you can find uh, that through there or online. But it's not a fun thing. I just could not believe it. Shocked me that that girl gave me that $20 back, man. And this is like, I mean, this girl is a full fledged drug addict. I mean, she's like maybe 5'2", five, 5'5", five, five, maybe 90 pounds soaking wet, you know. Doesn't look like she showered in a month of Sundays. But, yes, I've been babbling. It's 14, 15 minutes now of babbling. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys, but uh, I got in the car, got to talking, and that's what it is. Anyway, I hope that everybody's having a wonderful day. If you or somebody you love was is having a problem with drugs or addiction, don't turn your back on them. 
you know, tough love is one thing, but always be there for them if they want help. You know, and help is not giving them money for drugs. But also, if you are going through something in your life that is just too much, you know, if you, you know, with all these, the shooting and just all these crazy things going on in the world, it becomes very depressing. I am just a voice on YouTube, but I'm always here for anybody that needs it. You can message me. I'm on Facebook. You can also message me there. Jen McDonald, M-C-D-O-N-N-E-L-L. -L. And I have a Facebook group for e-cigarettes, which we try to help people out the best we can to get them off cigarettes and keep them off cigarettes. It is, we call it VHV, Vapors Helping Vapors, with an E-R, V-A-P-E-R-S. No drama zone. And when I say no drama zone, we mean no drama zone. We don't put up with a bunch of Facebook bullshit in there. You know, it's, it's a nice little very tight niche group. Um, if you don't catch me on there, you can say to hi to Lori or Josh or Timmy. Those are my admins and they are great, 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 great people. Along with most of my members in there are just fabulous and a few of them are kind of new and I don't really know. But have a great day. Much love. Keep smiling, guys. Make the world wonder what the hell you're up to. <laughs> Bye.